electricity is a great invention it is beneficial our industries and daily life without electricity there is only dark today i would like to share 21 golden rules for working with electrical equipment i hope you will agree on a safe work environment is not always enough to control all potential electrical hazards you must be very cautious and work safe safety rules help you control your and others risk of injury or death from workplace hazards if you are working on electrical circuits or with electrical tools and equipment you need to use and apply these 21 rules which i am going to disclose right now but before that remember you are on the platform of safe first life If you are first time on this channel, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then like, comment and share it with your friends and colleagues. Let us jump to rule number one. Avoid contact with energized electrical circuits. Please don't make fun of this rule if you already know this. And you probably already know if you are reading these lines. If you are listening what I am saying, and remember that if something bad occurs, you probably would not have second chance. And that's not funny. In all cases, you need to make sure you need to avoid contact with energized electrical circuits, electrical equipment. And this is rule number one. Rule number two, treat all electrical devices as if they are live or energized because you never know which electrical equipment is live and which is not because externally we are not able to judge the line is without electricity or the electrical line is live or energized no way for judgment that the electrical line is live or dead so what you need to do you will treat all electrical devices, electrical lines as light. Rule number three, disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. Even you are in maintenance process. And this is the only way that you can make sure that you are safe and electrical power is de-energized because you apply lockout, tag out procedure. Rule number four, Use only tools and equipment with non-conducting handles when working on electrical devices. And this is easy to check. The handles are damaged, are in good state of work. These handles, these tools are insulated and they can isolate you from live electrical lines, electrical power or electrical energy. Rule number five, never use metallic pencils are rulers a wear rings a metal watch bands when working with electrical equipment this rule is very easy to forget especially when you are showing some electrical part pointing with metallic pencil but you need to make sure you need to follow and always be aware that you are going to touch maybe accidentally your pencil or watch band may in direct contact with live electrical circuit and that will be damaging that will be dreadful and drastic for you and your safety electrical safety rule number six when it is necessary to handle equipment that is plugged in be sure hands are dry and when possible wear non-conductive gloves protective clothes and shoes with insulated soles whenever you are going to work on live electrical circuit. You will not forget, but you will remember gloves, clothes, shoes, etc. But insulated one, specially designed for electrical safety. Rule number seven. If it is safe to do so, work with only one hand. Keeping the other hand at your side or in your pocket. Away from all conductive material. This precaution reduces the likelihood of accidents 
that result in current passing through the chest cavity. If you ever read about current passing through human body, you will know. So remember, work with one hand only and it is safe to do so. Maybe in this way, you can protect yourself. Or if you are going to guide someone, actually you are protecting his or her life as well. Electrical safety. How to work safely on live electrical equipment. Rule number A. Minimize the use of electrical equipment in cold rooms or other areas where condensation is likely. If equipment must be used in such areas, mount the equipment on a wall or vertical panel. Rule number nine. If water or a chemical is spilled onto equipment, shut off power at the main switch or circuit breaker and unplug the equipment. Never try to remove water or similar from equipment while energized. After all, it's stupid to do so. It can kill you. You can be electrocuted and it can cause the end of your life. Electrical safety. Rule number 10. If an individual comes in contact with a live electrical conductor, don't touch the equipment. Cord a person. First of all, you need to disconnect the power source from the circuit breaker or pull out the plug using a leather belt. Tricky situation and you must be very calm in order not to make the situation even worse. Like in previous rules, always disconnect the power first. This is for your safety and this is also for the safety of your colleague, for the person who is in contact with live electrical wires. Electrical safety, rule number 11, equipment producing a tinger should be disconnected and reported promptly for repair. This is dangerous. Don't assume it is safe for work. Report it, maintain it, and when you are authorized and allowed by a competent person that the equipment is safe for working, then only you can use it, then only you can start the electrical equipment operation or maintenance. Electrical safety, rule number 12. Don't rely on grounding to mask a defective circuit, nor attempt to correct a fault by insertion of another fuse or brick, particularly one of larger capacity, because you are bypassing the safety requirements. You are exceeding the capacity of the fuse or the brick. Maybe when there is a leakage, the fuse will not burn out. The breaker will not trip because of higher capacity. So don't save your time. Focus on how you can save your life and the life of your co-workers. Electrical safety rule number 13. Drain capacitors before working near them and keep the short circuit on the terminals during the work to prevent electrical shock. Electricians, they know it, but the people, those don't have experience and knowledge, training and skills, how to work safely on electrical circuits or equipment, they are unaware what is the meaning of drain capacitor. And they should never work on live parts of electrical equipment, especially when the circuit is energized. And this is rule number 13. Electrical safety, rule number 40. Never touch another person's equipment or electrical control devices unless instructed to do so. Don't be too smart and don't try your luck. Maybe that day is not your day and maybe that is the last day in your life. So be cautious, be safe and how you can be once you are away from the live electrical sources, electrical energy, electrical power line. Rule number 15, enclose all electric contacts and conductors so that no one can accidentally come into contact with them. If applicable, do it always. And if not, be very careful, very cautious. Because your safety is your own responsibility and your life is only one. Electrical safety, rule number 16. Never handle electrical equipment when hands 
feet, a body are wet, are perspiring uh, when standing on a wet floor. Remember, you need to use gloves and shoes. Those are electrical, intrinsically safe and designed for working on live electrical sources are circuits. Dear friends and fellows, we are talking about electrical safety. And today, in this training session, we are discussing 21 safety rules. Those are related to electrical safety. If you can apply these rules, if you will follow and adopt these rules, you can protect yourself from electrical dangers. And also, you can protect your co-workers and colleagues from electrical hazards. Rule number 17, when it is necessary to touch electrical equipment, for example, when checking for overheated motor, use the back of the hand. Thus, if accidental shock were to cause muscular contraction, you will not freeze to the conductor. Very small, but very important tip. Use the back side of your hand, not the front side. Electrical safety. Rule number 18. Don't store highly flammable liquids near electrical equipment. Rule number 19. Be aware that interlocks on equipment disconnect the high voltage source when a cabinet door is open. But power for control circuits may remain on. Read the circuit diagrams and know your switchboard. Otherwise, you are in confusion. Electrical source is still within the panel and you are going to touch the live parts. What may happen? Electrical shock, burn, injury, or maybe death. Electrical safety, rule number 20. De-energize, open, experimental circuits and equipment to be left unattended. You can apply lockout, tagout procedure as per the company policy procedure. The last, rule number 21, for electrical safety, don't wear loose clothing or ties near electrical equipment. Act like an electrical engineer, a professional electrician or an electrical supervisor. You are not on the beach. You are showing off may kills you. After these 21 rules, which we have discussed in this training session, you can understand the basics of electrical dangers and you know what you need to do before going on, before working on a live electrical circuit or equipment. And that's all for now. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share the video. Hope to see you soon with the new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.